it's a mess and it's really cold but that means people can't get out and do other stuff bridal show here we come <laughs> truck. I did the remote start twice this morning because it shuts off after 10 minutes, but the temperature was on 65. So uh, first things first, I've got to go and get the TV so that I can get the TV set up. And I forgot my flash drive, so I'm gonna have to go get a flash drive in order to put the wedding on it so that I can pop it into the TV and you know, not use YouTube or whatever. That way I'm not killing the bandwidth for everybody else just streaming constantly. This is one of those times when you feel like you've always forgotten something. And I don't think I have other than a flash drive, but you just always have that feeling like, what am I forgetting? What if I forget something? Sometimes when you have those feelings like you've forgotten something, you just have to go with it. It's, it's kind of like the change of plans. You just go with it and roll with it. Like, I may have forgotten something and I probably forgot something else other than a flash drive, but oh well, you make the best of it and just keep pushing. It's the same in filmmaking and everything. There will be times when I think, oh man, I've really got this nailed. I've got all the shots that I need and then I get home and I realize that I've forgotten a key shot sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta make do. Either you can go and re-record it, but not always. Those are the times when it, when our creative juices are really challenged, I think, because we're forced to make the best with what we have. And especially in filmmaking, if you miss a shot, <laughs> sometimes you miss the entire story just by missing one shot. However, there are other ways of telling it, whether it be narration or even just text. Um, and then sometimes, like I said, you can go and reshoot it, but most often you cannot because the light has changed or whatever else. The great thing about filmmaking is the story is better the more you cut. Usually the times when you think I'm cutting too much, those are the times when you need to leave it alone. Like you need to cut that much. As I was working on the vlog for yesterday, there were a couple spots where I thought, oh, I should let myself continue walking. But as I cut them, it actually created a more seamless transition between me walking from the house to the truck and it worked out more effectively. And the best kind of cuts that you can do are the kinds that just feel seamless, that your mind doesn't even recognize that they're cuts. It's just one spot to the other. It just feels so seamless. Anytime you have to stop anywhere, it always takes tremendously too long. You go in for five minutes, it takes 20 minutes. Thanks a lot, Walmart. <laughs> I feel like I'm constantly running behind, even though I'm not, which is why I leave early. Like I always leave a half hour early because I feel like I'm running behind. So then when I get there, I'm like, wow, I wasn't running behind. But it's like every time I go somewhere, I feel like I'm running behind and I guess I just forget that I've left early. But it's a good habit to have. <laughs> Well, I thought I had <laughs> gotten most of my stuff last night, but obviously I have not. Um, I don't know if you can see all that or not. I got too much stuff. Like, I don't know how people vlog all the time with one hand and trying to carry other stuff. So, And this strap is choking me to death. I'll see you inside. The thing with doing stuff downtown is like you never know what safe parking is or not. And I guess I found a good spot right beside the Sunny's barbecue truck. Uh, so that works. I can't feel my ears. I thought it was warmer out than it was. Or maybe it's gotten colder. Or maybe I'm an idiot. I am two hours in and I've spoken to two people. And one of those people was for another business. But hey, you live and learn. So 
the bubble machine, while it was a great idea, turned out to be an absolute horror because the bubbles hit the floor and it just made it like a, like an ice rink and it was getting all over everything. And then on top of that, the machine actually leaked because I had it tilted back, so I got bubble stuff all over my tablecloth. So I had to go get another black tablecloth. So, eh, you know, I gotta figure out something else. Well, business has picked up. It's not been a total loss. I've given out the business card to probably seven or eight serious people thus far, which is actually pretty good. I had hoped to talk to 11 people today about it, so if I do, you know, nine or 10, I'm good. So I'd love to hit that 11, but I really think that I'll get a couple bookings out of this. <clears throat> well, it's day one completed. It's officially four o'clock. And there's a few people hanging around, but I'm tired, so I'm out. I got other stuff I can do, and I probably got, I'm going to say, 12 or 13 good leads today, which is huge. I don't know how many people were here, but that's great. hoping I can get out of the parking lot before everybody else starts to leave because there's so many cars out there. <sighs> Here goes nothing. The weather, which was snow this morning, like inch and a half, has now changed to a miserably cold rain, which is good because it melted all the snow, but what if it freezes tonight? Then it's gonna be an absolute mess. I feel like the snow may have slowed some of the traffic down today as well, which I'm sure it did, because I don't wanna get out in it. Somebody's cooking an amazing burger out here because it smells so good. All in all, this was a pretty successful first day, I think. I've got all day tomorrow as well. If I could get just as many leads tomorrow, uh, and, and I'll probably get more because I just know I know how to talk to people about it now because it's, you know, it's it's very nuanced in all these things that you do. And that's the thing with, you know, having your own brand, having your own business, is that you have to learn the way that you introduce and talk to people about one type of product or one type of thing. It's completely different from the way you make talk to somebody else. <clears throat> Sorry, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. <clears throat> Here it's brides interested in information for their upcoming wedding. Most of them aren't ready to pull the trigger yet on a deal. So what you wanna do is just be as friendly and as courteous and helpful as possible and offer yourself for help if they have questions about it. You know, and what I did just to create a, a better rapport was I told them, hey, I used to do wedding photography and if you have any questions about photography or pricing or any style or anything, contact me if you have a question about that. It just opens up a door of conversation that I may be able to later, uh, you know, leverage for the videography business. So you just have to realize that, you know, not every sales pitch, if you want to call it that, is the same. It, it varies greatly. I couldn't think of the word. Now, I found my truck, but I can't figure out how to get to my truck anymore. Actually, never mind. Scratch that. I found it. Why do I always have such heavy backpacks? takes all of you can do it 
If you have something on your mind that you want to do, go do it. Action begets action. If you're new here, I'm M. Hyatt. I'm a 2019 daily vlogger and filmmaker, just documenting this journey each day, vlogging and, and making short films and some tutorials. I would love for you to join our community. Please subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you know each day when I upload. It is daily. I'm a daily vlogger. Thanks for watching.